going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Studio Plug and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a drill beat using FL Studio. This will be in the style of 5 year foreign and pop smoke mixing in some simple pop melody vibes using a third party plugin contact just so you know. Also a quick update, I have updated my website studioplug.net with new designs. I made the entire website and designs myself for rebranding so I hope you like the new look. Also, do me a favor and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you are new or haven't already as this helps my channel grow and helps me keep dropping more tutorials for you. Anyways, let's get started with this tutorial. To start off, I used Evolution Strawberry by Orange Tree Samples to get that realistic electric guitar sound. You can also use stock or free guitar VSTs available online in case you do not have this one. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can check them out. Then for the rest of the sounds, I use my Studio Plug official drum kit. Now let's get into the piano row and set our scale highlighting. 5 year foreign beats are usually in minor or major so I'm going to select C sharp minor Aeolian for this one. The background is now highlighted with notes and scale. Just make sure not to touch the darker notes that are not highlighted and you'll be fine. Now let's go ahead and lay out the melody. And I went ahead and used Valhalla Play for some reverb, RC20 for that retro sound, and some minor EQ. Now let's lay out the 808s. Since this is a drill beat, we will need to enable the slide and bring in some 808 notes to higher octaves. Now copy the 808 pattern and paste it onto the kick. Then press Alt K to bring all kick notes to C. Now when laying out current drill hi-hats, make sure you set it to one fourth of a beat on your magnet tool. And they usually have a pattern of laying a note, skip two steps, lay a note, skip two steps, and then repeat. From there you can lay notes in between.
after I finished laying out the beat on the channel rack, I went to splice.com to find a vocal to fit my track. This isn't a promo, I just like using splice for getting vocals that are on scale with my beat. Anyway, after dragging in the vocal, I matched the tempo, removed some of the lows, and duplicated the sample so that I have one in normal pitch and the other one octave lower. After that, I added it to my playlist and chopped it up slightly, placing them in certain parts of the track. Alright, so that is all for this tutorial. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to purchase the sounds used or the template, you can go ahead and purchase it at studioplug.net. Make sure to sign up for the mailing list to get 50% off your first purchase there. If you want to listen to the full track, it is available at studioplug.net. Links are down in the description below. Anyways, that is all for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Studio Plug.